Okay, it's time for action once again. Welcome back, Chappies. Today we're going to have a look at the latest offerings from Valiverse in the Action Force series. This is the Desert Warfare Republic Guard Trooper and Gear Set, a.k.a. Uh, the Desert Trooper and Desert Gear Set. These have been highly anticipated. Uh, part of the Special Deployment series, which also includes uh, reissues uh, of three extremely popular figures from Series 1, Condor, uh, Karak, and the Bone Collector. Now, I already have two of each of those figures. Uh, in fact, I think those have already completely sold out, if I'm not mistaken. He might restock more after Joe Fest, which I believe is uh, happening later this week. Uh, so we'll have, a, we'll have a look at uh, the figure and the gear set individually, and then we'll look at the Gestalt, okay? Regular viewers are totally aware of why I picked up two of these. I'm going to take the second one completely apart and mix and match parts with uh, my other extra Action Force figures to create new figures, okay? So... The Desert Trooper, the same buck that we've uh, come to expect for the Trooper figures. Excellent uh, paint job on this, excellent aesthetic. We've got khaki with a little olive drab as well. You get two different heads, a stand it doesn't even need. You saw he was standing up just fine on his own. Uh, it comes with a, a, a weapon, it comes with a, a plethora of hands for different gripping and fisting options, as it were. And uh, I haven't gone through the articulation on these things in a long time. We're in a position to do so here because I've got a, a basic buck here. Excellent head articulation on these things. Uh, got the butterfly joint here. And good double jointed elbows on these. Bicep swivel, wrist swivel, wrist pivot is well in there. We've got two points of articulation at the waist, upper and lower torso. We've got rocking like on those WWE figures. Good split on these, good kick on these, you can, they've got these double jointed hips on them to where you can really kick high if you want to. Swivel there at the thighs and at the boots, and double jointed knees, it's all good. These put Hasbro to shame in every way, shape, or form, as far as the the, the craftsmanship, the manufacturing, and the engineering. Uh, so that's the, uh, the standard figure, and like I said, he also comes with... Uh, the patented Action Force stand, which works well for any 112 scale action figure so far in my collection. Right now, I'm using them to great effect for my McFarlane Batman figures, the uh, classic Batman TV series figures. They work far better than those NECA stands. And I said we've got the, uh, the weapon that comes with the trooper and all these different hands and an extra head, okay? And here's the box. Nice artwork on the front. Got the file card I'll be clipping along with the action points, which are now invaluable. Uh, pretty soon we'll be having a look at the Mail Away Action Force figure. Okay. And now we'll move into the gear set. Again, nice artwork on the box. And there's a rendering of everything included. And we'll have an, an itemized look at all this. Okay. So, we've got a khaki plate carrier with olive drab accents. Looks great. I'll probably end up getting more of these gear sets uh, in the future if they don't sell out. Okay, inside the knife, combat knife with paint application on it looks great, and some uh, weapon cartridges in there. Excellent. Okay, this one comes with something we haven't seen. I think the infantry commando might have come with one uh, in a while. Uh, a shoulder bag, and this one is molded in olive drab. Okay, I'm going to use this on one of my extra figures with my extra gear set as well. There's a neckerchief. We have the, uh, the belt with the holster attached in khaki and olive drab. Note the black and silver highlights on that. One leg pouch. This is a, a med kit. Okay. And a helmet with the ear flaps attached optional headset that you can replace swap out with those ear flaps with a little microphone on the headset there excellent the uh, night vision goggles that you attach on the helmet and you can flip around to deploy them and here is the antenna i don't know if i can get it off the table here for the uh, uh plate carrier the communications array and the long arm 
in a khaki and black design. You also get three muzzle flashes. And here is the sidearm. Khaki and black. Okay. So that's the, uh, the product individually. And here is the Gestalt. This is excellent. You're going to hear this time and time again. This is my favorite troop builder so far. And, and I really like the Delta gear set as well. So, and you can see it all. The shoulder bag looks good on this. And I like this particular pose for my Action Force figures. And I turn him slightly this way. That way, if he's wearing a big bulky backpack, you can stack them all together in this pose side by side on their stands on display and conserve space. And that's important if you don't have a lot of space uh, to display them in. But there you go. And I think this looks incredible. This is a great troop builder. Great gear set that you can use for other figures in your collection. Highly recommended. Excellent. Okay. Well, again, stay tuned for the... Uh, the uh, Covert Ops Chuck, I mean uh, Condor, and I'm going to make that joke again and again. It's actually based off of uh, James Bond and Casino Royale. But that looks like a neat figure as well, wearing a, uh, a vacation outfit. It's going to be cool. And uh, we'll look at that probably well, whenever it gets here. The action points have been mailed away. Whenever it gets here, it gets here, okay? Pals, thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Take care.